Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. So far, 17 babies and toddlers have died after being left in the back seat of a hot car. Tonight, problem solver Susan Hogan joins us with an update on what child advocates are doing to make sure it never happens again. To help prevent this tragedy, the child heat stroke deaths, safety advocates kicked off a new campaign today called Where's Baby? Look Before You Lock. Since the beginning of this year, we've reported on countless children, 17 in total, who have died in hot cars. Reginald McKinnon relives his nightmare. He admits he got caught up and simply forgot about his daughter, who he left in the car. She died. To my horror, I realized Peyton was still in her car seat. And it's the last thing I remember. I heard someone screaming. It was me. The rest is just a total blur. At a news conference Thursday, safety advocates and the transportation secretary raised awareness of the dangers of leaving children in hot cars. Based on the data we have, it is often this type of fatigue and overwhelm that leads to these types of tragedies. Parents just forget to look into the back seat, especially when their routines change and bad things happen. The new campaign announced Thursday highlights the dangers of leaving children in cars and how parents and the public can better protect them. Make it a habit to look in your car, front and back. Ask the child care provider to call you if your child doesn't show up. Place your pocketbook or cell phone in the back seat so you'll see your child before leaving. Or place the child's lunchbox or backpack in the front seat. A demonstration of a rescue was performed to show just how little time first responders have to get a child out of a hot car. The car can reach deadly temperatures in just 10 minutes when the temperature outside is in the 80s. And if you see a child in a car in distress, you really should call 911, of course. And also, all of us should teach our children to never play in a car and keep the keys out of their reach so they're not even tempted. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.